We've got some big news for Florida schools that happened today. The state said it is waiving the high stakes school testing rules. Our education commissioner made the call in response to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Basically, it'll now be up to each individual school to decide if those exams are necessary. And even if they do give out tests, they don't have to use those scores to move a student up or to graduate them. Overall performance could be good enough. Our Madison Allworth asked Pinellas County Superintendent how it's all going to work and spoke with a parent who says she is grateful but also a little concerned. Whether a student is ready for graduation or the next grade will not be determined by Florida State assessments this year. Teachers have been teaching and providing assessments and quizzes and, and end of course or chapter. I mean, that, that's part of their options and, and, and what they do each and every week and day. The entire year will be taken into consideration because, well, it's been a weird teaching year with COVID-19. Hoping that my kids are going to be ready for the next year is something that I'm taking very seriously as a parent. Marisa worries that her son, who still does well, might be missing out because he's been in a huge online classroom. Some of my some of my son's teachers don't even know who he is. Many of Florida students will still take the exams. The emergency order simply st states that those end of course assessments will not count against the student's grade. And that is, is that a student cannot be harmed by the results of that or not taking it also. In Pinellas County, they are using it as an indicator on how to close the learning gap with the Summer Bridge program. It's an exciting in initiative. We're using CARES funds. We have these federal funds that are coming into our state. This is the time that we have to really take advantage. What can we do to eliminate any kind of learning gap. Parents like Marisa hope that the learning gaps can be addressed efficiently. He's going to be in English three next year regardless, and he's gonna have to be held to all of the standards no matter what. So if he's not prepared, he might pass this year, but again, he could fly under the radar with things that he might've had to have learned that he maybe didn't learn this year. You heard Mr. Greco say it there, but we want to reiterate it. In Pinellas County Schools specifically, the end of year test scores can only help a student not hurt them. If your child scores well, it can be counted to actually help improve their overall average.